What's up everybody? Bobby here with the Worship Confessional for January 27th, 2008. Today we have a uh, guest host, star, whatever it is. Star. Star. Guest star. Pastor Ed Tyler. Hey, how you doing? Alright, you're hey. going to the taping so I can drive? Oh yeah, okay. All you people who don't like that I tape and drive, you can look at what it what oh, is. Okay, there we go. Um, Okay, and so we want your two cents too. This morning was actually kind of crazy. We were on a retreat. Uh oh. Hold on. We're about to die. Back up. See that car coming? I oh. can't go here though. Okay. All right. Um, ah, sunshine. We were on a retreat all week, so I didn't have a lot done, so I did it all this morning. And I uh, got a phone call. My phone isn't working either. Our drummer is out of town and tried to get a hold of me. My phone wasn't working, so we had no drummer. Almost got a replacement, but then decided, no, let's just go acoustic. So, um, had no drummer, my wife's car wouldn't start. She was singing, she got there late, started practice really late, didn't have practice on retreat. Fun. This week we talked about Radical Priest, right, Ed? That's right. It was, uh, First Peter? First Peter 2, 9. There you go. And 10. So, um, we opened up, we're in the series uh, Revolution. We started Revolution Dare to Change the World. Started with first song, Meet With Me. Uh, great song to open up with. And then after that, we were supposed to go into Use Me Here, which is kind of a good song with the theme of what we're doing, but we didn't because Bobby's D string broke. The second week in a row, I've had a sync break. D string broke in the middle of the first song, and my guitar went way out of tune. So I had everybody meet and greet. We we're going to do the second song. It just didn't make sense, so we just scrapped it and went on with the service. So we had the sermon and teaching confessional. How did you feel about it? How, did you, how was the message? Well, I felt really good about the teaching part because people were really responsive. I asked a lot of questions of people and they uh, responded really well. I, I thought that um, the two scriptures I shared, 1 Peter 2 and Ephesians 4, were probably my two favorite scriptures. So, you know, it was something that was part of my, my own... Uh, uh, heart and I just, just, I thought it went really well, really good, and people seem to respond pretty well. There you have it, straight from the horse's mouth, Mr. Ed. <laughs> so, um, so uh, yeah, and he talked about being priests and us being uh, mediators between people and God, and be God to people and whatnot. And so, for worship on the backside, I actually uh, kind of had this idea that I got from reading an old friend of mine, uh, Nate, has a blog. He's a worship leader at uh, Seacoast Church. Still worship professional now, too. Check him out. It's uh, oneredpilot.com. And, uh, yeah, great blog, great guy over there. Make sure you swing by. But he had a great post, if you want to go check it out, talking about staying at the altar, talking about the Old Testament priests, and uh, just coming, uh, sacrifice, and then moving on to the... the at the brazen altar, moving on to the laver and cleansing, and then entering into the, the holy place, and then into the holy of holies, and pressing into the presence of God, and then the cross is that sacrifice that we enter by. So, as we were talking about priests, I kind of shared that, and then we just kind of encouraged people to, to move through the cross and really press into the presence of God that morning. And I think that worked well. How was it, Ed? How was worship on the back side? I, I thought it was awesome. I thought it was the best part of the whole so, gathering. Cool. So, response yeah. time was really good. We started with um, Wondrous Cross, Wonderful Cross. Great tune, Redone Hymn, our church loves those hymns, and uh, went from there into Give Us Clean Hands. From Give Us Clean Hands, cruised right into Draw Me Close, and then uh, two more songs to respond. We, after that, went to Center, Chris, uh, or I'm sorry, Charlie Hall, love that tune, um, and our church seems to really like it. Awesome. And from Center, we finished I originally was planning to do, uh, this morning when I put it together, was planning to do Now That You're Near, but considering we didn't have a drummer and that song's really got to rock and go there, we changed it up and did uh, Unchanging, Chris Tomlin, and uh, just flowed right into it. That was actually a really good fit for the morning, so I'm glad we did that. So, uh, that was our morning, a lot of craziness. Now I'm driving in a big old budget truck because we are moving to a new house. So, we have had a absolutely wild Sunday. I hope you had a good Sunday. Wild week. Wild week. Yeah. We're out of here. Say bye, Ed. Bye, Ed. Don't turn it around and say bye, Ed. Oh. See you guys.